Okay, this is kind of where we left off yesterday. Uh, and my memory ran out on my SD card. This is a brand new camera, and uh, what did I do with my glove? Oh, it's, geez, I'm so stupid. Anyway, and we had it didn't come with an SD card, and so we had to swipe one out of my phone, my cell phone, and it has very little memory. So I'm going to try to finish up chores today quickly so that uh, I don't run out of memory again. But I wanted to show you that Bianca did lay another egg today, and she laid it inside clear in the back of this tent thing. So I'm going to show you how I get them. Oh, I'm going to crawl in here like a soldier on the belly. Get the egg. Oh. And see the difference from yesterday too is that it's a lot colder and the water's frozen. And it stinks because it's the end of March. And I'm sick of thinking ice and it's snowing. Oh, good grief. Thought I got six eggs today. Six out of seven, so not too bad. So I'm going to try to hurry and get this done so I don't run out of memory on the camera. But this is how I get the ice out of these containers, water containers. And next winter is going to be totally different. I am not going to be dealing with these ice icy pans next winter. We are totally going to revamp the system because this is really a, a pain in the rump. I have to do this twice a day in the winter when it's really cold and the pans get frozen to the ground and I can't get them up and oh, it's just a mess. Just an absolute mess. This is why these pans look like they've been hit by a truck. I know. You ready for spring too? They say spring on the calendar. But that's about it. They go over there and eat the ice. Are they silly? See the stinking snowflakes? March 27th, people. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna run this real low slow while I take care of Olivia's rabbits. And if that had that going full blast and overflow before I got this job done. Hi Flopsy. Hi Flopsy Flopsy. This is Flopsy. He's the only flop eared rabbit my dad got out of all of his baby bunnies. And uh when I saw that little flop-eared baby, I told him he can't butcher that rabbit. <laughs> so.
so we adopted him. And actually, he's Olivia's rabbit. But I take care of her rabbits in the morning, and she takes care of them in the afternoon, usually. And that way, I, if she forgets to take care of them, I know they've been taken care of at least once in the day. And this is chocolate sprinkles. And at the time, we were reading a C.S. Lewis book. And since she named him Chocolate Sprinkles, he's C.S. Rabbit. Although I think it's a girl, but, you know, you just got to guess with rabbits. I don't know how to check. And yes, CS chewed her bowl down like that. So I saw I call CS a girl because she's smaller. A lot smaller than Flopsy. So there we go. Rabbit's done. Now I can turn this up to full blast. I cannot believe, I guess it snows this late in the year, lots of times, but you kind of forget about it <laughs> from year to year. And by the end of February, you're like, oh my goodness, I want summer. I want 70 degrees. So when in March is cold and snowy, you're extra disappointed. This time next month, it better not be doing this. What you barking at, Sal? Huh? What you barking at? What you barking at, crazy dog? You silly baby. You silly baby. You silly baby. <laughs> Yuck. Look my nose. All right, here we go. All in this five gallon bucket's what kind of messed up my shoulder. But not messed up so bad that I can't use it. So you don't have a choice. When the hoses freeze up in the winter. In the summertime I have a hose stretched out here. Chicky chicky chickies. I don't want to dump water on your head. There you go. Duckers. <laughs> Go inside your tent. Out of my way.
YouTube and friends. That's how we do it. This is morning chores part two. And I got six eggs today. That's it. I'm going inside where it's warmer. Let's talk to you later. Bye.